Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about connective tissue tumors. And in today's class, this class is going to be in two parts. So first part is going to be reactive lesions, fibrous lesions, and I'll be covering about neuronal lesions, fat and muscle lesions in my next class. So let's begin. So first we are going to talk about fibrous lesions. Like I told you, they include fibroma, gingival hyperplasia, and focal fibrous hyperplasia. Now coming to fibroma. So suppose you have a trauma, you might see like um, growth over here. Like you can see the small ball-like structure that is called as traumatic fibroma, also known as irritation fibroma or hyperplastic scar. Hyperplasia means increase in number of cells. So here increase in number of cells and then it looks like a lesion can be caused due to trauma or chronic irritation. Now coming to generalized gingival hyperplasia. So here you can see generalized gingival hyperplasia, like the hyperplasia is completely all over the mouth, right? It can be caused because of local factors and it can be modified by systemic conditions. And it can be actually seen due to some drugs. So patients who take dilantin or cyclosporin can have gingival hyperplasia condition. And also calcium channel blockers also will lead to high gingival hyperplasia. Calcium channel blockers. I'll be talking about this in pharmacology. And if you guys are interested, I can make a small video about drug-induced hyperplasia also. Now coming to focal fibrous hyperplasia. Means in a particular space it happens that is called as fibrous hyperplasia of oral mucosa. It can be caused due to chronic trauma or chronic irritation, also known as, so this is nothing but a repetition called as traumatic fibroma, irritation fibroma, and a hyperplastic scar. Now, because of using dentures also, there can be hyperplasia. That will happen mainly because of the ill-fitting dentures. It can be seen in two locations. One is in the vestibule and another one is in the palate. Okay, so denture-induced fibrous hyperplasia is mainly caused due to ill-fitting dentures and it is usually seen in labial vestibules or palate. And if it occurs in the vestibule, it is called as epulous fissure fissuratum and if it occurs in palate it is called as papillary hyperplasia okay so papillary hyperplasia of the palate is another type of fibrous hyperplasia associated with ill-fitting dentures no malignant potential to any of the fibrous hyperplasia so they do not have any potential for malignancy now coming to reactive lesions in this, but we are going to talk about neural lesions. Here we have covered fibrous lesions. So we, we are going to cover fibrous lesions as well as few neural lesions and remaining mucosal fat and other lesions, neural lesions, few of other lesions will be covered in tomorrow's class. So in the neural or traumatic neuroma, what happens in the picture you can see, mostly this will happen when you cause an injury to the nerve. Whenever there is an injury to the nerve, you can see these kind of lesions. It will look like a mass of neural tissue and there will be a scar. It is mainly caused because of the injury to the nerve and it is most commonly seen at the mental foramen in the oral cavity. Okay, so what is multiple endocrine neoplasia is, these all conditions can be seen and uh, this is a type of this kind of neuroma where you see multiple neuromas along with medullary thyroid cancer, along with pheochromocytoma of the adrenal gland, all together constitutes MEN, okay? Now coming to <coughs> vascular reactive lesion or pyogenic granuloma. Here you can see how it looks. It looks like a ball filled with fluid and um, it can be mainly caused due to trauma or chronic irritation. And this happens mainly because of hyperplasia of capillaries and fibroblasts. Common in gingiva, but can be seen anywhere in the mucosal or skin trauma. Okay, so let's have a quick review. So first we studied about fibroma, 
that is mainly happens because of trauma, also known as hyperplastic scar or irritation fibroma. You can see generalized gingival hyperplasia, which can be caused even due to drugs like dilantin, calcium channel blockers, and cyclosporin. Focal fibrous hyperplasia mainly happens because of hyperplasia of the oral mucosa. So denture-induced hyperplasia is mainly because of ill-fitting dentures can be seen in the vestibule as well as in the palate. If it is seen in the vestibule, it is called as epulis fissuratum. And if it is seen in palate, it is called as papillary hyperplasia. Now, traumatic neuroma is a neural reactive lesion. What happens is mainly when there is an injury to the nerve, you can see this kind of trauma. Biogenic granuloma is mainly because of hyperplasia of capillaries and fibroblasts, which is caused by trauma or chronic irritation. It can be, it's common in gingiva, but can be seen anywhere. So thanks for watching today's class. And in case you like the video, please do like, share, and please do subscribe because I can see that many people are enjoying the video, but if you're not subscribing. And in case if you subscribe, then you'll receive a notification. And if you want something specific about each class, you can always contact me in case you want me to make any specific video or have a Q&A session. So please do hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to my channel. Thank you.